For the event in a minority hill, um, we right now have uh, our um, men's uh, division is, is uh, hosting this uh, National uh, Prostate Health Month. We're doing a little uh, information gathering with free uh, with free uh, uh, haircuts, and we're doing and we've got some. Uh, med students from UMC giving out some uh, medical screenings, doing diabetes and uh, blood pressure checks. And Mr. Turner said, hey man, how long you got? I said 15 minutes. He said, well, anyway. I said, look, I can't take a finger right now. Yeah, he ain't doing no finger today. We're trying to, to get you in here, get you, at least get you some information. Uh, we're going to have a little speaker a little bit later on. I don't know if he, he's going to be quite ready to go yet. But, Mr. Turner, let me ask you a question. Why is it so important for men uh, especially, I guess, African-American, American Africans, mm -hmm. uh, to be in the loop. Hold on, let's reconnect it. To be in the, wait a minute, it's trying to reconnect. Maybe I need to come back over this way. Uh, don't do that to me. You want to get on the Wi-Fi first? Uh, I don't even know if I'm on there. Well, okay, there we go. Why is it so important for men, not only older men in my age bracket, but younger men to be consciously aware about this prostate issue? Prostate issue is big, especially in the uh, African American community. Um, although we are we're not um, the highest representation of the races, we are we have suffered with some of the worst outcomes from prostate cancer. A lot of that is because of uh, the stage at which they they catch prostate cancer in in African American males. So we want to catch you. We want to get you young, get you used to uh, getting screening, get your information up so that when it's time for the screenings to start. You're, you're aware of what they are. You're not afraid of them, and uh, you're willing to, to have uh, the health professionals do their job and uh, get you screened so we can catch it early, get it get it treated, and uh, avoid some of these worse outcomes. Mm. You heard what he said, so you're not afraid of it. You got to be a real man to get that prostate check. Yeah, by the time it's over with, you will know that your manhood. <laughs> Let me ask another question, please, sir. How can they get in contact with you all and what you're doing for future instructions or future endeavors? Okay. Uh, you can always, uh, our, our main thing would be the website. That's uh, Institute for Minority Health, uh, for the Advancement of Minority Health, um, dot org. It's the Mississippi uh, Department. It tells all of what the, 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 the department does. We do, in addition to the men's health, we do uh, maternal fetal health. Um, and we do some uh, HIV prevention and some uh, drugs and opioid uh, prevention as well. And it, it gives you a good overview of that. Um, have the number memorized. But uh, we got you. Uh, you guys got a Facebook page? Is it a Facebook page out there? Uh, I don't know if they have Okay, it. well, I want to say you've got, the, you've got this information. They got a serious, seems like a serious wraparound service mm -hmm. that encompasses the whole community. Yeah, we're trying. We're trying to advance. <laughs> okay, so we just want to make sure that we continue to be on the lookout. Uh, they allowed me to post their information on Community Strong for Jackson, Mississippi. Look like one of the head men is getting out the chair. Hopefully we can tag him in over here so he can give us a little bit more insight and see what we got going on. We want to thank Mr. Turner for reaching out to me when I was having a challenging moment and bringing me back to the reality of knowing more about my prostate. All right, All right. thank you. Okay, you think we can get him down here, Mr. Turner? Okay. Hey, they're giving out free haircuts. I'm going to bring the dog team on down here. And uh, 